What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's learn some shit. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to add a custom JSON file into your Nitrato server. So to start with, we're going to come over here to our Nitrato web interface. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to want to check the box for enable the gameplay all right and just save it and it's going to enable that file to be used to the left we're going to click file browser it's going to open up our files we're going to go to daisy chinaris plus all right if you're on console you have a custom folder if you're on pc it works well too you should create one and this is where we keep our json files but where are they at on our computer well, if you have Daisy Editor, when you export, they go in this folder. Documents, Daisy Editor. All right, and this is where all your files, your XML exports, your event exports, your JSONs, anything you go from editor goes there. So when we upload, we're uploading from Documents, Daisy Editor, and then you select your file from that list. So let's actually upload the file to Nitrato. Scroll to the bottom of the custom, click the upload file, and then again, documents, Daisy, editor. This is where our exports are. And we're going to select our file from here. Today we're uploading Alter as an example. Now, if you're downloading files from the Discord, those are going to be in your download folder most likely. Still the same process. So select your file, and it will upload into the folder. And that's the second part of this. We got one more thing to do. Let's head back over to the gameplay. Inside the gameplay is where we're gonna add our call line to the file we've just added to the custom folder. So you're gonna come into your gameplay, .json, and you got multiple little sections of parameters here. We've gone over most of it in other videos, base damage, you got your hit indicator customization, uh, the build anywhere to turn off your checks for your hologram. But what we want is right here in the middle, the object spawner, right here in the world data. We'll go over the rest of it another time, but for this, all we need is this little section here for the object spawner. Everything we need to put is inside these two square brackets, okay? So you're gonna have your quotations, file, like the name, right? And then you're gonna separate each one with a comma. Every time you have another file to add, put another comma. If there's no file, no comma. So again, you have a comma if you have a file coming after it. The last one will never have a comma, right? Like a sentence, it's the and then part of it. And most people do it like this in a straight line. That's okay and it works, functional is functional. I don't really like that, I think it gets kinda muddy when you get so many mods going goes off the screen what I like to do is leave myself a little blank line and then I do it like a list right? again quotations and that's where you're gonna put your call line for each file it's not called file I'm just showing you this for example to explain to you the different ways of writing this in here and the comma again the last one doesn't have a comma the comma separates the files if there's no file to separate there's no comma so let's add our call line in for the file we've just added. Let's get rid of all this mess here. Now when we add our call line, we have to tell the gameplay where the file is, which is the custom folder. So let's start with the quotes. And what you're going to do is put a dot slash. All right, that's saying like prior to that is just the game files. And then custom slash file name dot JSON. Now when adding a single file, I've noticed that a period is not necessary, but when adding multiples, it works better with a period there. Some people say it does, some people say it doesn't. But if you're adding multiples, you can just add a comma, highlight the line, control C to copy, and then just control V, paste, 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 remove the comma for the last one, and then you would just save it. But in our case, we're only gonna have one today, so we're gonna get rid of those. We're gonna put the period back, because in my experience, it just works better to each their own, try both, see what works for you. Now for our file name, what I like to do, go back to my file browser, 
document the AZ editor and if you slowly click twice click click you can control C to copy the name right over double click here control V and just paste it directly in easy peasy save it All right so we save what we've just put in there get a little notification over here in the bottom right we know it's saved now all there's left to do is just restart the server and your JSON should be there so let's do that let's restart this thing and go check out what we got going on and with those three steps combined we have a JSON congratulations it's pretty simple it's only three steps enable the gameplay box at the bottom of the general page of your Natrata website interface put the file that you downloaded or created into the custom folder and then put the call line in the gameplay file referencing that file in the folder so that's pretty much it for this one check out my other videos to see what else we got going on hope you learned some shit i'm out